This is a tutorial screencast on how to draw Fisher projections. The Fisher projection is another convention used in organic chemistry to depict stereochemistry. So we're going to examine two molecules in this tutorial. These molecules are enantiomers. We have plus glyceraldehyde and minus glyceraldehyde. The plus and the minus, which I've underlined in red, indicate the direction in which these molecules rotate plane polarized light. So re recall that plus is in, in the clockwise direction and minus is in the counterclockwise direction. Other terms that we use to depict this are, are D, little d for positive, and little l for negative. So this stands for dextrorotatory, and this stands for levorotatory. The Fisher projection is a convention that allows us to compare molecules and determine the relationship between them. So if you recall from the Newman projection, we were looking down a carbon-carbon bond axis. In the Fisher projection, we're going to look down the entire carbon backbone. For glyceraldehyde, which has one chirality center starred with the asterisk, we're going to put our mind's eye and look down the carbon backbone. So the most highly oxidized carbon in the Fisher projection ends up being at the top. And what that means is the carbon bearing the most oxygens in this case. So it's going to be the aldehyde carbon. In a Fisher projection, we're going to draw a cross. We have a vertical line. And those are going to signify bonds that are projected behind the plane of the board. And then we have a horizontal line. And those are going to be bonds that are projected out towards us. So this is equivalent to the following. The vertical lines are going back. The horizontal lines are projected out towards us. So if we convert this chirality center with a red asterisk into the Fisher projection, the aldehyde group goes at the top, the most highly oxidized carbon, the CH2OH, it's a non-chirality center, so we don't draw it itself in the Fisher projection. We draw CH2OH. Now we're going to depict the stereochemistry at the chirality center. So the OH is going to be towards the right. It's projected out towards us. The hydrogen is going to be on the left. So we can fill that in in this wedge dash representation as well. So what I've underlined in red here is the Fisher projection. This is what the Fisher projection means here. The bonds on the horizontal line are projected out towards you. The bonds on the vertical line are projected behind the plane of the board. The reason this is useful is it helps us determine the relationship between molecules. So in this particular instance, we only have one chirality center, but as we increase the number of chirality centers, it can get difficult to determine the relationship between them. Let's go ahead and, and do the same exercise for the levorotatory glyceraldehyde. So that's the carbon of interest. We're going to draw the Fisher projection. We have a vertical line, a horizontal line. The aldehyde is going to be the, at the top. Now in this case, the hydrogen is going to be towards the right. The 
the alcohol to the left, and finally the CH2OH. So now it's easy for us to determine in the Fisher projection the relationship between these two molecules. If we draw a mirror plane highlighted in the blue dashed line here, we can see that the substituents on the chirality carbon mirror one another and so we can easily say that those are enantiomers. So this has been a Fisher projection tutorial. In our next screencast we will look at molecules that are uh, of more complexity.